The June dress. First of all, I think this is the hardest dress to keep a secret. It's a dream, it's a dream dress. I think it's my favorite. A lot of time my inspiration for the monthly dress comes from finding the fabric first. Usually I have to find the most amazing fabric that I'm obsessed with and then my brain just creates this gown that would work well with the fabric. It's just so pretty. Makes me want to get married to him again in a light blue dress. What are you carrying? What is that? Well, it's just the biggest petticoat you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> we hoarded like really expensive fabric. Just carting around. It's very close. Nine. For the bodice, the fabric actually had all these amazing flowers on it. It was one of the most beautiful fabrics I've ever, ever seen. And that's what inspired me to do blue and to do a wedding dress. It feels very sophisticated. The blue could have gone many different directions. I backed the bodice with a silk, kind of more of a silvery blue because then it allowed the flowers on the bodice to pop. This tool is too bright and this is too like gray green color. But if we mix the two, and kind of layered them, I think that that might, I don't know, I think that might work. I feel like I'm a doctor, I'm gonna perform surgery. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, so this is, how I, this is how I think of it. It's like when you get low lights in your hair <laughs> to add depth. You don't want it, your hair all bleached, you wanna add a little bit of color. So, a little bit of dark over the light. And I kind of want to throw up right now because it works and it's like a good throw up. So with the two colors of tulip molded together to give it a really nice three-dimensional effect. Is Garrett behind me? Oh, he's in the shoot too, you guys. I'm bringing him in. I'm like, I'm not gonna... He's taking selfies. Oh, is this, are you shooting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing I'm bringing Garrett in on the shoot today because it's a wedding. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have my groom. In person, this skirt sings. So I got the tool home. I finally had all the fabric, and I I wasn't ready to sew or cut or anything, but I threw it on my Betsy because I needed to see her. And for the first time out of all the dresses, I'm ridiculous. But I cried, like I cried, like actual tears because it was just a dream come true. Just like I cried when Cinderella, <laughs> just like I cried when Cinderella spun around on her dress chain. You guys, I'm really a 12 year old girl at heart. <sighs> Maybe it's good that I have all boys. It's a really good balance, I think. The best part is that my boys love the dresses. Bradley walked in the first time he saw it pinned and I was crying like a baby and he walks in and he's like oh mom it was their reactions to the dresses are just so sweet and they get excited along with me and it's it's fun I can't breathe you loved it we just got the fabric yesterday and I just had to throw it on because this has been in my head for forever what do you think Bradley Oh, I, like I came in here with a cup of milk, I'm going to drop it so badly. <laughs> what do you with think? What? Easy. It scared you? Mom acted like she was frolicking down the merry-go-round when she <laughs> and Dad came in. <gasps> look how cute June and May look together. It's like, it's like they're friends. The construction of this dress was really technical, really difficult. I had, first of all, for the skirt, I had 14 layers of tulle that stretched about 20 feet long, and I had to gather those all up to create the skirt. I currently have five different layers of the gray tulle and seven different layers of the light blue tulle. So when I lay them out to stitch them together to create the skirt, I'm going to kind of make them I'm gonna do like two gray, one blue, one gray, two blue. I kinda of have to stack.
remember them. I'm just, I'm just a nut about the detail. And I, then once you've gathered it, once the light hits it, it's this insane 3D effect. I'm sitting in my sewing machine right now, getting ready to sew this terrifying fabric. I'm wearing these fake glasses for protection so the beads don't flip up and poke me in the eyeballs. For the bodice, I didn't want to break my sewing machine or break a bunch of needles with all this intricate beading, so I had to cut out all of the beading along the seam allowance as I stitched it up. I had to make sure that I was really focused and really concentrating on each stitch. I inserted an invisible zipper in the back, and when I inserted it, I had to do it upside down so that it opened up wide enough for me to get my head over it. It was crazy. These are also two separate pieces because if they were all connected, it would have been way too heavy for the bodice to hold up. This dress took me about 12 hours to make. I actually think I pumped this out faster than I thought that I would. The skirt portion came together really nicely and the bodice actually came together pretty easy. I don't know if I can say easily, but it came together seamlessly, no pun intended. <laughs> I did use a pink zipper for my skirt because I had a zipper and I lost it. I placed it so that it was almost asymmetrical the way the flowers come down, but we also hand stitched more flowers to the sleeves and kind of filled in a couple of spots in the front and the back just so that it was perfectly asymmetrical. Badgley Mishka has the most beautiful shoes and they are the June dress shoes without a doubt. It's like you took the June dress and morphed it into a shoe and those are the shoes that I'm wearing and they're beautiful. They're so perfect. It is our 11 year anniversary today. We're heading down to shoot the June dress and I'm wearing... Wait, ah! you're gonna give... Wait, is this... No, this is not. This is behind the scenes. difficult task right now of trying to narrow down a diamond ring to wear for the June dress. I want it to be a beautiful pairing. I want the ring to be similar to the dress. I want it classy and feminine but just absolutely striking. So I think I'm gonna find something really good in these options. Okay, it's June dress Do what? shoot day. We are at Pelican Hill. I'm gonna get the dress on. I am wearing the ring. I got the husband. We're gonna go get some pictures. You're the husband. I'm bringing Garrett into these pictures. 11 years, babe. 11 years of this. 11 years. <laughs> You're so lucky. <laughs> Okay, you ready, Cindy? Yeah. Cindy Bella? <laughs> okay, so let me tell you a few things for a second about my love affair with Cinderella. I've loved Cinderella, I was Cinderella every year for Halloween. My mom made me Cinderella dresses to wear for Halloween. And she was the first three fashionista, right? She sewed up her mom's old wedding dress and created this gown to wear to a ball. I mean, come on. I love her so much. I swear I was 80% into the dress and I was staring at it and I was like, what? This looks like the Cinderella dress, like the live action Cinderella dress. I didn't even think. I wasn't creating the Cinderella dress. I was creating this light blue wedding dress because I was so in my head about June wedding. It is the Cinderella dress. It's so similar and I did it without even knowing. I promise. During the shoot, I was spinning inside this rotunda at Pelican Hill Resort and it was just magic. It was magic. And there were bunnies hopping through the fields right around me. I mean, it was, it was, it was too much. It was so good. This rabbit is watching you guys. 
Okay, we are at the Pelican Hill Resort, getting ready to shoot the June dress. I've been so excited for this day for like months. I've been talking about it nonstop. The rotunda here at Pelican Hill is such a dream. There's a chandelier, there's this beautiful draping. It's just, I just feel like it's the ideal spot that every bride would want to be. Every bride would want to be here. Yeah, it's pretty all the time. This is you like it? Yes. And then I perfect. This is June. She Dream come true. All June, right? Yeah, completely. So today is my 11th wedding anniversary with Garrett, which is really fun. It just so happened to be that this is the day that we shoot, and this happened to also be our anniversary, which is really fun. So because of that. I did my hair very similar to how I did my hair on my wedding day. So it was down in like a low bun. This one's slightly more undone. Also to show off the back and all the detailing on the bodice. I feel like the bodice detailing really is the key focal point of this dress. I mean, and this giant skirt is all a focal point. What do you like about the June dress? The June dress is really I don't know if you have to see it in person. I'd like to, I'm excited to see it on camera. You look at it and you just can't quite believe how it looks. It's kind of cloud-like. It capture, it has this motion that it's kind of weird. I didn't, I wasn't expecting it. It's really pretty. I really, I really like um, that she has her hair up in this one. So you can really appreciate the, uh, the bodice, the shirt part and the diamonds she's wearing are kind of unreal. They're really pretty. She looks like a real life Cinderella. Uh, what do you think about this location? Pelican Hill Resort is something else. The buildings are magnificent. It's really beautiful. Leanne's put in so much work and had such a special vision with each dress. So it's hard to think of one as a favorite. In person is really something else. It might be on the top of the list. What do you think, guys? Yes. Yeah. The dress is It's hard because I don't know what it looks like. Thank you. Welcome. Right here. You can just put your face. All right. It's dark now, and we just finished. We have the best team in the world, the best husband, who just did a photo shoot for our anniversary. Huh. He's the best. Take notes. <laughs> Leanne, have you eaten today? Be honest. Oh, I good. I a quarter pounder. I ate a quarter pounder for lunch today. Let's go eat again. <laughs> yeah, Cheers can you done. imagine eating in the same day that you've we had a quarter pounder? just finished. It was perfect, and the lighting is perfect. Or should I not talk about the quarter pounder? <laughs> but the quarter pounder I, I had for lunch? I love We're hungry. Here. June is every woman's dream wedding dress, um, but with a little twist, something blue. I cannot wait to take these dresses on tour and I cannot wait to set up the June dress for you all to see live and in person. There's nothing else like it. When you're standing there in front of this dress, it's an experience and I can't wait to share it with you guys in person on the monthly dress tour.